yellow. What do we have? Hi, Evolving Blessed. Hi, Robin. How are you? <clears throat> I'm going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work. All of a sudden, yesterday, when I was at work, I was uh, cutting burlap. And when you cut burlap, it, you know, it gets all over, it like flies around. And after that, I started getting, feeling congested and coughing. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to see how much I can talk without coughing. So if I do cough, forgive me, but um, we'll see how it goes. So I don't know what, but my chest feels kind of tight, you know. Hey, Peggy. Yes, it was nice. How was your Easter? I wanted to show you some of the prints that I uh, printed out from Google when I, uh, you know, pulled up different um, pictures. I'll see if anyone, a few more are going to get on here before I start showing them. So you guys don't have to keep seeing them over and over. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, whatever this flu was or whatever, whew, I have never seen anything hang on this long. What have you guys been doing tonight? Well, remember I told you that my granddaughter, I went with her and my daughter to the emergency, uh, not emergency room, to the doctor that other day when she had 105 fever. And then my other grandson was sick. I mean, but this has just been continual, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm good, kitty cat. How are you? You know why... While I have you guys on here, too, I want to ask, do you guys like seeing when I um, decorate certain things with you guys, like I did the um, tray, you know, that tray with the bunny in it, and I put it together? Do you like that? Because if you like that, there's certain things that I could decorate, you know, little vignettes or the three-tier tray or whatever. Instead of just having it done, you know what I mean? You know, it was nice here too, but now the winds are really picking up and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Crazy. Hi, Dora. How are you? Oh, thanks, kitty cat. Hi, Linda. Do you ever go on YouTube and you find something and all of a sudden you start binging it? Well, I don't know why. But I, uh, I like old movies, you know, and I'm talking old movies. I mean, I'm talking back in the 50s, 40s and 50s, like TM, TC, uh, Turner Classic. Well, anyway, some stuff came up about Judy Garland. And, I mean, I love Wizard of Oz, but, I mean, I was never a big Judy Garland fan, per se. But all of a sudden, I started watching... And so then I started from that watching Lorna Loved, her daughter, and um, documentary on her and, um, well, her, talking about her mother, and then her and Liza Minnelli, her sister. And I can't tell you how many of those I was watching last night. It was crazy. Oh, thank you, Robin. 
I bought glasses, you guys. <clears throat> it took me four months to pay them off. I like them. They are the most uncomfortable glasses. I had one other pair in my life that was this uncomfortable, but I think these were even worse. But thank goodness, this optometrist that I went to, they uh, will take back the glasses if, you know, you just can't wear them or whatever the reason is, and you can get new ones. I, I'll have to go Tuesday because I'm telling you, I should have realized when I put them on, they're kind of a heavier glass, you know? And first they were too tight, so it hurt my ear. And so then it gave me a headache. Then I went back and they loosened that up, but now it's loosened enough to where the glasses are heavy, they start to fall. And I hate having to put my glasses back up, you know what I mean? Because I wear my glasses constantly. And so, ugh. I always hate looking for glasses. So that's all my rants are gonna be. Oh no, go ahead and try them. I have another couple ideas and I got done filming some more of the plaster of Paris with the chocolate molds. And I have a really good idea for another pastry <clears throat> that I'm going to be sharing soon. Oh yeah, Peggy, there's no way. There is no way I could stay, I, there's no way. I mean, they are the most uncomfortable. You know, sometimes when you wear a visor or something, you know, and it's been on for a long, long time, and you start to, or you have a ponytail, or, and the ponytail's really too tight, and you start to get that icky headache? Well, that's what these glasses do. Oh, my Lord. Mm -mm. They may be cute, but they are the most uncomfortable things I've ever had in my life, and they're going to go bye-bye. Well, I've made donuts already, but I am going to make more donuts, uh, Robin. Oh, <laughs> oh, Robin's back onto the donuts. Yes, we do end our conversations a lot of times with donuts, don't we? I'm glad you're going to try those, kitty cat. Hey, Cheryl Lee. Okay, I'll decorate the three tier. I'll do a video on that. Oh, my gosh. Judy Garland had an awful life. I didn't realize just how bad, because like I said before, my grand, not my grandfather, my grandmother's brother, so I don't know what is that to me, a great uncle, I don't know, I, I always get mixed up with all that stuff, but anyway, one was a policeman and the other one was a, a writer and he, uh, I guess, I think she said photo play, and photo play back in the day was like People Magazine, but I'm talking back, way back, and um so I kind of knew a little bit by what my grandmother had told me, how the young kids, what they used to go through, you know. But the documentary, and then I watched a movie on YouTube, and it was a full-length movie about her life. They started her on barbiturates and, uh, uh, ah, what's the other one? The, the diet pills, the phenobarbital. And, um when she was only 14. Well, she stayed addicted to them her whole life, and they just got worse and worse and worse. You know, because as she started to build a tolerance, she needed more and more and more. And it, it was pathetic. It really was pathetic. <coughs> and some of the producers or directors, when she was in a couple movies with Mickey Rooney, oh, my Lord, they were tyrants. I mean, they, oh, oh, it was awful. I really felt sorry for her. But I'm always uh, very uh, curious about that kind of stuff. I always have been. You'll be fine with those cupcakes, I'm telling you, kitty cat. They're so easy to do. Oh, how cute that'll be. Just uh, get a uh, clip art of the mermaid tail or whatever. And then just uh, 
trace it onto a sheet of styrofoam and then decorate it. Yeah, I really like those biographies too. Oh, you just watched it too? Evolving Blessed? Yeah, very sad. All right, I guess I'll start showing you because I don't know if anyone else is going to come on or not. I got to show you that you guys, all these, I mean, I printed out a lot of prints and a couple of them I did of my granddaughter. You have got to see these. <laughs> oh, she is such a little ham. She really is. But my daughter and son-in-law took her to um, the Hello Kitty store. I didn't even know they had a Hello Kitty store. But anyway, let me cut this so I can show you a little bit better so I don't have to show you the big, uh, hold on. I had gotten new um, ink for my printer. And when I, when I print out prints, I usually will print out more than just what I'm gonna do so I have them ready for other holidays and different things I wanna do. Look at her. Would you please look? Look at her arm. I'm telling you, she is a trip. I gotta show you these couple. I just have to. Forgive me. That was Easter. Look at my how my daughter does her hair. And this is the little one. Her brother is the one that has the autism. And so they try to do special things with her when he's at school. She's in preschool too, but, um, oh my gosh, she is sassy. But she's not sassy like a brat sassy. I mean, she's so sweet. Oh my gosh, she's such a sweet little thing. But she loves clothes. Now, if I had that on as a kid, I'd want it off because it would itch me and I'd hate it. She loves it. And she lets her mom do her hair. Make, yeah, make those. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I just have a couple more, um, and then I'll get into my prints that you're really interested in. Remember I told you how she loves Disneyland, and they go all the time because they have passes, you know? This is my grandson, London. He, he's the little one with the autism. Always keep him in prayer. But I made him this little um, tooth fairy pillow of Mickey. If you see, it says London's uh, tooth fairy pillow. Well, he just lost his first tooth, and we didn't know how he was going to react to that, you know? At first, he wanted him to put it back in. He didn't understand, you know? And then when he realized he was going to get something from the tooth fairy, then everything changed. <laughs> so that's London. I tell you this so when I'm talking about them, you, you'll have a visual. I always like that myself. I like having the visual. But I've got to show you these. I just have to. So forgive me. Daisha wanted him to open his mouth so she could see his tooth. Well, this is what she got. <laughs> well, he opened his mouth as much as he could, but she still couldn't see where the tooth... Well, you can see it a little bit there. Just a tiny bit. And this is my grandson Hudson when he was first born. That's me over there seeing him. And he was gooing and gooing. He was only like a month and a half. Okay, so here she goes. How my daughter is able to get all these princesses from Disneyland. But I'm telling you, she has some of the most phenomenal pictures. And even the Disney people that take pictures ask if they can take pictures. It's crazy. So there she is with Snow White. Then look at her with Cinderella. And she'll just carry on conversations with them. 
Just a couple more, I promise. Here she is at a year old with Mary Poppins. And then here's another one, and she's with Little Mermaid. Having a full-on conversation. Here's the two of them together. They're so cute. She's with little Hello Kitty there. Almost done. So when I talk about Everly in London, my other grandkids, uh, one of my sons, they don't want their kids shown on social media. And I respect when they don't, so that's why you don't see a couple of them. Very, very rarely do I show anything about them. Then she's having a full-on conversation with the Easter Bunny. Me at that age, I was scared to death, and I've got to show you a picture sometime of me and the Easter Bunny. And I'm telling you, that Easter Bunny doesn't look like this one. I was holding my throat. I probably thought it was going to kill me or something. And she's hugging him. So those are of <laughs> Everly. Thanks, guys. Okay, now on to what you want to see. Okay. Again, I went on Google and just put in... Hi, Terry, you're not late. I just came on a little bit ago, sweetie. Um, but I want to make a cherry pie. And I already made the apple pie, remember, last year for... Um, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. can't remember. Well, anyway... Um, and I want to put this on my hutch. And I'm almost ready. I And the reason I printed these out is I want to put them on my hutch. And then I can uh, videotape it. And then I'll put it up so you guys can see what I did with all of the uh, fruits and vegetables. So anyway, when I do my goodie, um, remember I told you I'm going to do another series on the sweets and all that? That's when this one will go up. So I did that. And I just randomly get them, you know what I mean? I just, I'll, I put in signs, you know, apple signs or pie signs, and they just come up, and then I just pick ones I like and print them out. I love this one. Look at that print for the carrots. I like it because it's very, um, very, uh, antique looking and I like the shape of it you don't normally see these signs look like tags you know what I mean so these haven't been cut out yet but obviously and then I'll cut them out but I love this one you know and I didn't even see I'll bet you anything they did a whole series I don't know for sure but I'll bet you money they did wouldn't these be pretty to print and put on or in frames or back with something if you like that look for your kitchen. You know, if you had carrots and, um, oh, say, uh, green beans or whatever the case. I love that look. Hi, Angela Ray. Is this your first time on here, honey? Yes, it's printed on glossy photo paper. I ran out of my matte paper. This one I want to put up. Isn't that pretty? Now, I, I'm not going to keep all this. I'm just going to cut out this part of it. But for a farmer's market, 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait for you guys to see the hutch. I cannot wait. Every time I look at it, I think, oh, I can't wait to show them. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Look how vibrant those colors are. Hi, Debbie, how are you? I want to get back so I make sure I say hi to everybody. Okay, and then these I thought were cute. These are supposed to be, um, well, little signs, right? That part got kind of cut off, but that's all right. And you know how I did the strawberry sign when I did that little uh, vignette <clears throat> just the other day with the rabbit and the, and the lemons and the strawberry? Remember how I put the strawberry uh, picture in and I laid it up with the strawberries? You could do the same thing with these. And then this one, I'm going to do when I do the, uh, well, I'm not sure now that I'm thinking about it. Not sure. I'm not sure if it's going to go on the hutch or if I'm going to do like a vignette um, on my coffee table and then put this on there where I put a bunch of flowers. But what if you had... <clears throat> Sorry, what if you had a, um, like your, uh, you know what? I know I'm going all over the place, but my mind's think. Okay, think about this, you guys. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. What about your bar cart? What if you made it into, instead of uh, drinks or sweets or whatever the case, what if you did it as a flower cart, per se? That's what I'm going to do with that. No, but that's funny you say that, Cheryl Lee. Um, my middle name's Lee, too, and it's spelled the same way. Um, hi, Don. Hi, Denise. Um... There's a couple things, but you know, the thing is, Mother's Day is coming so quick. I don't know if it'll be in time for Mother's Day, but I did have a couple things that I did want to do for Mother's Day. <clears throat> so I'm going to see <clears throat> um, if I can get it done. <clears throat> or I'll just do it and I'll let you know that it was going to be for Mother's Day. and Because what I'm thinking about doing, you could do for at any time. <clears throat> then look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it. Think about this, you guys, for fall. Can you imagine it? And I know a couple of <clears throat> my family members have apples for their decor in their kitchen. Hi, Pamela. I know. Wouldn't it Evolving Blessed? I think a flower cart, a bar cart made into a flower cart. I'm going to do that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Peggy. These. You're talking about these, right? Exactly. Planter picks. But I love that. Yes, this is photo paper. <coughs> Forgive my coughing, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, <clears throat> I cut burlap yesterday at work. <clears throat> I think it messed with me. But anyway, um, when I do prints like this, I do put it on uh, photo paper because I'm going to keep them, you know, and I want them to be nice. Yes, it's an inkjet printer. It's not laser. It's an inkjet, Angela. Hey, Pat, how are you?
Yeah, it's bizarre, Angela Ray. It is just nuts. Because you guys, <coughs> remember when I had, I was so hoarse? It's like it just stays and it doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> okay, you guys are going to love this. All right, Peggy, get ready for this. <clears throat> you talk about plant sticks. This is one I thought about Mother's Day. If you did a vignette and you put, well, I'm not going to, you know what? I'll just do one and show you in a DIY. I have an idea for these. Look how pretty. Aren't those pretty? And that's just from Google putting in um, uh, vintage plant, uh, what did I put? Vintage uh, flower seed packets. Hi, Dana. Oh, Dana, I have to tell you right now. The other day when I was getting ready for work early in the morning, and it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, my time, I had you on live the whole time I was getting ready, and I'm telling you, there was times I was cracking up, especially when you were calling the goats. It had such a little beat to it that I started saying it, and I was cracking up. And then when the chicken was knocking at your door, Oh my gosh. I'm, and I can't remember. There was something else you said and I just started busting up and I can't remember now what it was. But anyway, yeah. So you were with me getting ready that morning. Okay, look at this one. Now I did this one smaller <coughs> for a farmer's market. But you could put that in a frame. You could put it in a black and a black frame or a white frame. Isn't that pretty? And I think anyone could do it. I mean, Google is around the world. So, I mean, you just put in prints if you have, a, I mean, you know what I mean, uh, whatever you want printed and um, you could get any kind of print and then <clears throat> this one was a little blurry but I did it anyway for uh, the fall because I'm going to do a lot of this on my hutch so I got that to put and Dana, you could do the stuff when you see what I did with my hutch. That's why I was looking at your hutch the other night. You have a gorgeous hutch. You could do a lot of the faux or um, real, for that matter. And with signs <clears throat> that you could print from the printer. And it would work beautifully on your hutch. <laughs> Sorry, Peggy, here we go again. I'm enabling and I'm keeping you up. And everyone that's married, the husband's going to go shut her off now. Okay, so now these that I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a DIY with. Now this is not on the uh, glossy. This is just on printer paper that you would use in your computer. <clears throat> deliberately so here's one because I wanted uh, I put in for a couple lemon uh, pictures <coughs> I gotta go back and read this hold on you got the hutch for free you got that hutch for free? Yep. 
Yeah, that sounds good, Angela Ray. I mean, would you tell them what they're getting in it? Or, I mean, the uh, miscellaneous stuff? Or would it be like, uh, you know, at Michael's, they have the grab bag type thing? But yeah. From Facebook? Your husband made you a hutch? Gloria. I went on last night when I was watching Judy Garland, and I wanted to see if you were on live, but you weren't. Because you do live sometimes on Saturdays. You have three hutches, Dana? Oh. And then the other one I printed out is this. So I'm going to be doing DIYs with these two in the next couple days. Tomorrow, I already poured the uh, plaster of Paris into the uh, chocolate molds. <clears throat> and um, then tomorrow, I'm going to frost, I think, the lemon. Uh, I told you I was going to make cupcakes with lemon frosting. But I've got to get my... Uh, Oh, you know, um, where is it? I got to make a few more of these, which I'm going to do tonight. The lemons, because I want to put them on the uh, cupcake. You almost printed that one, Gloria. Oh, you're moving from Wisconsin to Michigan this summer? You have two full art studios to this stash. Well, don't you, aren't you going to keep anything to, for when you move? Or do you have so much stuff that it won't bother you to get rid of some of it? Yeah, I really like, um, See, and I'm very partial to dark wood, so I really like that dark uh, hutch that Dana has. <clears throat> then I've got that other DIY that i got to put up with the rooster, you know, that I showed you guys. I made a video on that. That's going to go up. <clears throat> Hi, Lynn. How are you? That's great, Dana. Oh, okay. I get it. So you have a lot. So it's, yeah. Are you doing the lemon DIY decor, Gloria? Yeah, I, I had a couple people. I can't remember who it was now. She's fairly new, I think. Anyway, she um, wanted a link to... Oh, shoot. It was one of the prints I've shown recently. Now I can't remember. Anyway, and I feel so bad because I never have a link. All I do is go on Google and put in, you know, different kinds of pictures I want, and then I just hit the picture I want and save it. So I never have links. That's why I always tell you guys just to go on Google and put in what you want. I do too, Angela. I love everything lemon. So what'd you guys do this weekend? 
I just worked. I like olives and lemons and grapefruit too. Oh, you're doing the lemon and <clears throat> the with the blue. That'll be pretty. Well, see, the thing is, I never buy something just for a challenge, to do a challenge. You know what I mean? That's why I don't do many challenges. Well, no, that isn't. I shouldn't say that's the reason. It's not. The reason is I usually have so many things I'm doing anyway. I don't really have time. Once in a great while, I will participate. Like I'm doing uh, Secondhand Tracy Ann. I'm doing her first lemon challenge that she's doing because I already was going to put this up and it went perfectly with what her challenge asked for. Do you know what I'm saying? In other words, I won't listen to someone that's doing a challenge and if I don't have this stuff and I wasn't going to decorate with it anyway, I don't do it because like you just said, if you buy stuff to, you know, and especially if you're buying it for a challenge, and that's what you bought it for. Well, okay, so then next year, and they want to do another challenge of some, something different. I mean, you know, you can only buy so much stuff. And again, that's why a lot of times when I buy something, I'll try to buy with the thought of being able to use it for different things. You know, like um, sometimes, like I just... <clears throat> I don't, last month, I, I think it was at uh, Target Dollar Spot, there was a white cake platter, nice size. And they had another color, I can't remember what it was. But I got the white because I knew I could use it at any time. You know what I mean? I don't lock myself into just a particular color that might not go with other things that I'm doing or my regular decor because I just don't have enough room, <clears throat> excuse me, to um, buy things just to have it out for a short period of time, if that makes any sense. Hello, bench the banana. Now, Bench the Banana, I have never seen you before. How are you? Well, yeah, and that is... I'm going to be doing something like that myself, Dana, because... I'm not going to go searching all over creation for lemon plates, but I am determined to have a couple lemon plates to go with my decor. The only thing I did is I did do, like you guys saw, I got the um, Hobby Lobby, the charger plate, the lemon. <clears throat> but other than that, I haven't been able to find them, so I'm just going to make my own. Carol Mancini. Oh, I wish my last name was Mancini. I love that name. How are you, honey? You probably have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. And I had gotten... Uh, last year a couple white plates and they were from the Dollar Tree 
and they're not the big plates. They're not the dinner plates. They're the salad plates. So I'm going to decorate those. And then there's another thing I'm going to do with the lemon um, on something else. But, yeah, I just, I can't go out and buy stuff just for a challenge. Like I said, if I don't have it, I don't do it as a rule. Unless it's something that just strikes me that I really, really, you know what I mean? That you just really want to do. Then that's another, you know, that's completely different. But just to be in a collab to buy stuff to do it, I, 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 I won't. Yeah, um, I have, I'm going to redo a gumball machine. Well, I did a video on a gumball machine <clears throat> that, I, well, and I didn't do anything, but, okay, let me start over. I have a little gumball machine, plastic one, that I'm going to redo completely. My real gumball machine that I've had ever since my kids were little, and I used to have the stand, and I don't anymore, doggone it, but anyway... Um, I did a DIY on that, and it's in vid a video probably two years ago. But it was a red, you know, the typical red. And I <clears throat> spray painted it brown, the rub oil bronze. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and got one of the drawer pulls, you know. And it was like the... Um, Mm, it's old-fashioned looking and so I put that on the top of it and then I put white gumballs big white gumballs in it and it's in my family room you've probably seen it when I do my home tours but that's what I did with that one because I wanted it to be in my family room and I wanted it kind of looking uh, you know with the browns and the white gumballs and that's the only color gumballs I have in it but for this little pink one, and it's about, stands about that tall, and I think it was from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I want to do that one shabby chic. And then I'll keep it in here, and I will put real gumballs in it. And you know what? I love bubble gum. I love bubble gum. But there's two things I don't like about it. As soon as you've chewed the flavor, it's gone. And then you're chewing, it's like chewing, you know, nothing. And then some of the bubble gums start to harden real bad, you know, and I don't like that either. But I do love it when you first start chewing a piece of bubble gum. Oh, how cute, Gloria. Hi, Lynn. Did I say hi to you? Oh, I did, didn't I? Yes, of course I did, because I just talked to you. Hello. Hello, Davita. Wake up. Wake up. You know what my downfall is? Well, there's two downfalls. And you guys probably, some of you know this. The one is Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. No bueno. I should not have them even in the house. <coughs> the other one is <clears throat> Butterfingers. That's a negative too. Real bad idea. Oh, you have ear pain? Yeah, my daughter can't either anymore. Daisha, my youngest one, she has TMJ, you know. She can't chew gum either. Oh, yeah, my hips love them so much that they never went back down. They just stayed the size they are, hoping I'll down another one. And, you know, the other thing I do, I think I told you guys this already, but... When I go to Target, I always get their popcorn. And it'll last me. Because I like it when it's a couple days old, believe it or not. 
And so it'll last me three days, and I'll just have a bowl one night, and then I'll have a bowl <clears throat> the next night, and then, you know, the third. But it's like, almost like movie theater popcorn. Yeah, mine are loyal too. I wish they were, weren't so loyal. I, they're, I, it's fine with me if they leave. But they just keep sticking on me. Kitty cat, you have that candy all the time. <clears throat> you like Reese's too and Butterfinger. Oh my gosh, I love them. Jeremiah, honey, how are you? Oh, guys, if you haven't, like I said, anyone that hasn't gone over to Jeremiah's uh, channel, he is a wonderful artist. And the flowers that he does are absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> and he does, you know, you watch him as he's doing it. Oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, my God, they're beautiful. They are beautiful flowers. I'm doing good, Jeremiah. Well, I call them as I see them, Jeremiah. <laughs> oh, you love Target popcorn too, kitty cat? Oh my gosh. When I used to work there, you remember the, the girl I showed you the little, um, the frame, when I told you guys why I say what I say at the end of all my videos, <clears throat> the one that committed suicide? Well, she worked in the, um, where the popcorn and all that, that little, you know, area. She was always burning the popcorn in the morning. And you know what burnt popcorn, it smells and the smell just doesn't go away. She used to get teased and she would laugh and we'd say, really, Becky, really, again? Because the popcorn is so good, but once you burn it, it's like, oh man. You know, <clears throat> I know I love that flower series. I love it. Oh, I love, you know, and it, you know darn well it's not good for you. Well, the way I do it. Because when I go to the movies, <clears throat> I really shouldn't be like this, but I am. I... When I get the popcorn, I put the butter on it. Well, now, I know, I know that that butter is not good for it. I just know it. But if I'm going to go to the movies, I'm going to do what I normally wouldn't do because it's just a fun time, right? Oh, thank you, Lynn. Some people don't. They've left me comments, but that's for another day again. Um, but thank you. Um, but I have to have that butter on it. I just have to. And the red licorice. I saw it, Gloria, but I can't go on it now. Because <coughs> it'll throw me off here. <clears throat> but I will look at them for sure. Isn't he great, Pat? Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, really. Yeah, Lynn, she did. And that's why, like I said, I did a video one night uh, telling people, you know, why I say what I say at the end of my videos. And uh, it was her and then one of the guys I worked with at the grocery store for years I worked with him and he committed suicide as well and uh, so that's why but um, she had just given me a frame and it talked about friendship very shortly before she did it They have Oreo chocolate mini bars? 
<gasps> it was prom week for you, Jeremiah? Are you a senior, honey? How cute. It was prom week. How sweet. Are people in your family uh, artistic as well, Jeremiah? Oh, that's me too, Evolving Blessed. The majority of my chocolate molds are for my plaster of Paris now. I mean, I've kept a few out, you know, but the majority of them are for my plaster of Paris. Oh, I love how, ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Are they raw jalapenos in the popcorn or do you fry them up a little bit so they're soft? Val, there's our Val. You start thinking of all the IVs you could start on me? You mean for my cough? <laughs> I love the vampire. <laughs> oh, because of my veins? Is that what you're saying? Because of my veins you could do good IVs? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, you watched that Avengers movie? <clears throat> you're a senior. Jeremiah, you're such a sweet guy. Bless your heart. Well, congratulations. Are you going to college after, hun? <clears throat> oh, your mom is Nicole's DIY, so your mom has a channel too? Oh, Nicole here, Nicole, Nicole? Or is it another Nicole? I need to know if you're related to Nicole right down here or if it's another one. <clears throat> you're eating a corn nut? I don't know if I could do that. It scares me to death because I'm afraid I'm going to break a uh, crown. Yeah, I do have veiny... Um, <laughs> Oh, I love it. <clears throat> I liked your last uh, video, Val, uh, uh, for um, uh, Dollar Tree. I know all my kids love the Marvel. <clears throat> oh, you keep those for you, kitty cat, so you can make molds. Well, cool, you're going to um, college. Jeremiah, That is, you are such a sweet kid. I, oh, you really are. Jeremiah, is your son Nicole? Well, you guys, look there. Now it's understandable why he's so nice. <laughs> he's like you. Bless his heart. Oh, that's so nice, Jeremiah. So your mom gets all those beautiful uh, flowers that you make. Oh, so I don't know if I should say I'm sorry or yay, Gloria. Thanks to you, David, I have a new baking section in the craft room. 
Well, I'm going to say yay because I think making the faux, I'm excited thinking that, you know, because people had said, oh my gosh, I just love, because before, you know, many people would uh, <clears throat> message me, or not message, well, you know, text, and uh, in the comment section and say, what do you do with them? I don't understand, you know, and this is <clears throat> like a year and a half ago. <clears throat> and um, now people aren't so much saying that. Now they're saying they want to do it and they're making them. And so I'm very happy about that. He's a violinist? Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I love bacon. Yep. I wish I was just, Susan, I got, you texted me that you were pretty sick when you did your first dose. How are you feeling now? <laughs> I see how I sound so congested all of a sudden. And it wasn't until I cut that stupid burlap the other day. And they wanted eight yards of it so that stuff was flying everywhere god gone it um <laughs> she's mesmerized by my veins <laughs> speaking of where you put dracula in your picture val on my facebook i shared a picture i could not believe my eyes Someone posted a picture of this bat. You guys, you guys, I have never in my life seen the size of this. It was not, it was so crazy. I had to share it on my Facebook. So anyone that has my Facebook, you need to go over and look at what I shared. This bat was huge. That would be the end of me. I would faint dead away. That would be it. I would just faint. Almost seven years you've been playing? Oh, man, that's wonderful, Jeremiah. How was your visit, Bella, with <clears throat> your family? I know, she's good. You are very tired, huh, hon? What did you say that they had to do? I know you told me you went back into the hospital and they did what? Because you were feeling so bad. Oh, it was fun. Oh, good. Did everyone leave, or is are there people still there, Bella? Hi, Designed by V. How are you, hon? <clears throat> you know that's funny, Peggy, because just tonight, so help me, I'm not lying, I was sitting here coughing, thinking, doggone it, if it was that burlap, I thought, you know what, I need to take one of those masks. Can you imagine? But, I mean, I'm going to have to, if, if, in fact, that's what it was. But it does fly all over when I cut it. Oh, I just hate cutting. And the other thing I hate cutting is the fur. That fur gets everywhere. And the minky fabric, you know, the real pretty minky, that stuff sheds like crazy when you cut it. Oh, so you still do have people there. They're sleeping, but they're still at your house. Right, Bella? Oh.
your son's graduating to V? Well, congratulations to him. Oh, I know it's terrible, Val. Oh. And then I'm covered in fur. Oh. You're exhausted. When does your daughter graduate, Bella? And Val, you have one graduating pretty soon, don't you? Two more years. One more year, okay. Jeremiah has a twin sister, Emma. Does she have her own channel too? Your youngest son is graduating in May. Well, congratulations to him too, Dana. Oh, he's driving to school for the first time tomorrow. Dear Lord, they did tell him he looked like Sam Elliott. Oh, you lucky duck. Oh. She's thinking about it. How cool having twins and they're graduating. Oh, my gosh. You got, are you moving, V? Slow down, Bella, not yet. It's not time. Where are you moving to, V? And Val, you're done with all your uh, treatment now, right? The, um... Uh, oh, come on. <sighs> Can't think. Why is it leaving me? Man, I can't believe it. They were all telling him in the hospital he looked like Sam Elliott. Isn't that something? Jeremiah is Nicole's son. I didn't even know. How cute. Steroids. Why did I, why do I have brain farts like that? Ugh. <clears throat> I remember when my youngest one, when they came to take her to, you know, uh, for the driving. And I knew she was going to be going on the freeway. Oh my gosh. My whole body got weak. I mean, it was like, oh Lord. When they first start driving, it just scares the heck out of you. Oh, and that's the thing. <coughs> during, oh, during the holidays, starting in September until after... 
December. I'm telling you, the fur, because peop, and then the fleece, because people are doing the um, blankets where you tie them together, and burlap galore, burlap, burlap, burlap. And then um, the other thing is, you know those big bolts of fabric in the upholstery? Well, some of those are very heavy, especially the vinyls and the leather. <clears throat> and I carry it over my shoulder, you know, as best I can. But if it's something really, really heavy. Well, even Sam helped me a couple times. Um, you know, Val, your friend, uh, Sam, Samantha. Um, a couple times when she was in the framing, because, you know, we're framing's here and fabric's here, so I used to go over and talk to her sometimes, or she'd come over and talk to me. And <clears throat> she would help me if the bolt, or if the, you know, the long uh, tube was too heavy. Oh, bye, Pat. Have a good day, hon. Oh, how nice, V. Okay, so what happened? Oh, I missed it about Angela's son. Here we go. It's rough. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, one plastic part of the tire broke, but water got into the floor. Well, thank God he's okay. Oh, Bella. Oh, sorry, guys. I hit that thing. Hold on. I got it. I think she wants water. Come here. You want water? Here you go. Here you go. All right. All right. She needed water. Oh, bye, Jeremiah. You got get ready for school, hon. What's three bags, Val? What are you talking about? I missed something. Hi, it's just mommy. How are you? Is bags how many bags of steroids? Have a good uh, week at school, Jeremiah. Oh, <laughs> no, this got moved. No. <laughs> no, I'm not hiding my hands. Um, here they are. Woo um, old Val, here they are. No, I'm <laughs> um, Yeah, except my stupid cough. I was doing so much better. Oh, okay. Well, thank God that's over. But your hair still looks good, Val. It always amazes me how your hair stays so perfect. Mine is always like I've been through a whirlwind. And by the way, Bella, I love your hair in a ponytail. It looks really cute. Dry eye? 
Um, I use, the optometrist gave me um, Refresh. It's over the counter because I have dry eyes too. Hi, GL. Genevieve. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Because um, I was asking people if they liked seeing when I decorated it and opposed to always having it already done. Because usually I do, you know... I only show when it's done, but I'll do more of those. I'll probably do one doing my three tier tray. Bella, she, she cracks me up when she does hers. She's so full of zest. I can't keep up. I mean, the energy that girl, Bella, I'm telling you, you have got some energy. You could probably do a commercial. Oh, you've already tried refresh and it doesn't work? Yeah, that is true, Gloria. Water. Do you drink a lot of water? Because that's real important. Oh, you're lucky your daughter's a hairdresser. Yeah, Val, how do you get your hair so shiny? And the way that your bangs are, I mean, they always look so like you just got them done. Every time I see you, I always think, how does she do it? I'm always thinking that. How does she keep her hair so shiny and in place? Um, Genevieve, are you asking me how do I store all my crafts? Oh, <laughs> um, you mean the stuff that I make or just my crafts that I make stuff out of? Because when I do my um, craft tour, now that you said yawning, Dana, I'm going to yawn just because you said yawning. Do you guys do that when you hear someone say yawn and then you yawn just because you heard the word yawn? I mean, that's how bad it is for me. I can hear you say don't yawn and I'll yawn. And then when somebody else starts yawning, I yawn. It just goes back and forth and it never ends. Um, oh, this thing is so tweaked. Um, I... Uh, uh, I um, have a, you know those little compartments that you get from Target that have the little, you know what I'm talking about, what am I trying to say, that have the canvas things, you know? Well, anyway, I have those that I put a lot of my stuff in and then my closet downstairs is full of stuff and my closet up in this craft room is full of stuff. The stuff that I make and the stuff from the holidays, I have a shed outside, at, uh, you know, one of those plastic big ones, um, and that houses a lot of it. And then I do have some stuff in the garage. So it's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's why I'm saying, I mean, I just can't, that's why I repurpose a lot of stuff and like I'll use my candlesticks over again for different things and that's why I don't glue them down. I mean, if I didn't do that, I would have, 
you know, 30 candlesticks. Well, where am I going to put all of them? You know, I just don't have the room. So that's why... Um, Wait, I gotta see how she does her hair. Hold on. I think you did, Bella. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I do with that stuff. You use a blow dryer and a round brush for my bangs with a ton of hairspray. I just pretend it's 1987. <laughs> Gloria is still back to the cucumber. I love it. You just yawn? I love it. I'll bet you everyone in this group right now at one point there is going to yawn and hear like, oh. oh, it is so bad when I'm at work. Oh, when I used to open in the mornings at the grocery store, because I used to get up at like 3.30, quarter to four in the morning. And I would be, sometimes I'd start yawning and I'm telling you, some people take offense, okay? And I don't know if they think that I'm just bored with them, so I'm yawning, you know? And you try so hard not to. And the more you try, the more you have to. And I would get on this kick, and it, I would yawn and yawn and yawn and yawn. You know how some people sneeze and sneeze and sneeze? Well, mine's yawning. And it's like, oh, my Lord, Davida, quit the yawning. I used to try to talk to myself, to talk myself out of it. Oh, it was terrible. What? Bella's cooking? Yeah, coconut oil is very good for you. You have a gra granddaughter graduating? Oh, well, congratulations to her, too, Evolving Blessed. No, I think you did, Bella. Yeah, you really do have good kids, Nicole. They're so sweet. Well, hi, Susan's Cozy Condo Life. How are you, hon? Oh, my gosh. Val, wait till you see, <coughs> sorry guys, wait till you see um, <clears throat> some of Dana's <clears throat> outside with her animals. I'm telling you, I was cracking up the other morning getting ready for work. She's calling her goats because her goats got out. So her cousin called her, I think it was your cousin, right, Dana? And so, oh, I can't, I wish I could remember how she did it, but it had such a cool... Kind of a look, it was, um, oh, well, how'd she say it, baby? But it's the way she did her voice, and I started saying it when she was saying it as I'm getting ready for work. But there was a couple things that you said, and I can't for the life of me remember, but I started cracking up. And then the chicken, one of her chickens knocks at the door. So she had the door open, calling the goats to come back, and here comes the chicken into the house. I was busting up. Your nephew, okay. <clears throat> oh, you're not cooking right now. You know what I love is that baklava, you know, um, 
Well, I don't know if that's Greek or not. But, you know, <clears throat> where they put the, um, you know, it's real thin pastry and it's got the honey all over it. I love that. Oh, yeah. Come on, babe. Come on, girl. I, I, <laughs> you just got to go back and watch it. But it's the way she, and she does it exactly the same every time. And it, I started getting into the, the way she was saying it, and then I was saying it. Yes, the phyllo dough. Oh, my Lord, is that good. Okay, that's, I, I thought it was, but then I started to second guess myself. Oh, thank you. Yeah, puff pastry, I love it all. Come on, girls. But her voice goes up and right at the same time. And then um, that little chicken cracked me up. Well, that isn't a little chicken, that was a big chicken. Do my kids appreciate the decorations? You love the video of when my granddaughter had, oh, when she had her 16th birthday? Is that the one where, when I made that money tree, Genevieve? Yeah, they, they do, especially my youngest daughter. <clears throat> she used to love when she'd come home from school and everything would be decorated. I'm not that fast anymore. That's Rue the Rooster. How cute. Oh, Rooster, Rooster. I'll never get it straight. I will never get straight a rooster and a chicken. It, 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 forget it. I mean, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. I don't know. I mean, now that my kids are all, you know, married and have their own homes, I mean, I don't know necessarily if they appreciate what I do because they're, you know, I mean, they're onto their own thing. Um, I don't know now that you say that. Oh, no, they have no idea how much work it is. I know that for a fact. Yeah, the baklava. Oh, my gosh, I love that stuff. And I missed, here we go, here we go. Is it going to surprise you? Probably not. I missed the Krispy Kreme. They had lemon donuts. And you. I think you were able to buy get one free last week, and I didn't go. Oh, your grandson Noah. He's one of your biggest fans. You guys, I was showing. I'm going to just show just a couple of them. And I'm, oh, I didn't show you guys that just came on. Did all of you see my prints? But I have to show you just, I just have to show you. That's my little grandson, London. And keep him always in your prayers. He's the little guy that has autism. And pray that he finds his the school that he needs to be going to. The reason he's looking like that is I made him this Mickey Mouse Tooth Fairy pillow for his first birthday. And so my daughter said, London, show me where you lost your tooth. Well, that's what she got. But you can kind of see right there, but not really. But um, anyway, that's London. But I wanted to show you. And I'm not going to show you all of them, but that's Everly, his sister. Look at her. She loves posing. You'd think she was 15. But um, I'm going to do a scrapbook. I am with these. The reason I 
printed these out, you guys, is I am going to do a uh, scrapbook because my daughter gets the best pictures with her. And I, I was telling the girls earlier, um, one of my sons and his wife don't like their kids being shown on social media. So that's why you don't see all of my grandkids, you know. But um, anyway, I want to do a whole scrapbook layout with Everly with all the different princesses because she is friends with all of them. And whenever she goes, she ends up seeing. I mean, I never got that with my kids when I took them. Oh, anyway. Look at those two. Look. But did you guys see um, these for the fam that came in later? I'm going to put this with my, uh, when I do all my sweets, you know, that series again, because I have a few more things I want to do. This would even, well, yeah, no, this would go better with uh, now when I do my sweets. I was thinking for fall. Well, I, it still could go for fall. Um, but look at this one, you guys. Look at this. What if you got and I'm sure they had others like this. I mean, I was only looking for carrots at the time. But look at how antique that looks. Isn't that pretty? No, I live in uh, California, Angela. Oh, thanks, Nicole. I know I love his name, too. And check it out. He was born on the 4th of July, and his name's London. Hello. <coughs> Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? For the, farm, for the uh, farmer's market. I wanted to get these printed out, and then I'm going to do the video... And um, then I'll put that up so you guys can see what I did with my um, hutch and my table. And Dana, when you see this, I'm telling you, there is so much you could do. I, I, right away, I thought of your hutch. You've never been to Disneyland, Angela? Oh, you sub in the autistic class? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you what they go through. Whew. It's, they need a lot of prayer, all those families. And then this one, look at that, you guys. I mean, you could frame that one. With a white frame or a black frame? Isn't that pretty? This one I thought would be pretty for Mother's Day. Yes, you do, Dana. I've seen your plates. Not pretty. <clears throat> and then, look, right away I thought of fall. Just imagine all the apple stuff, you know. And one of my family members on here has her kitchen. I can't remember who it is, but her kitchen is in apples. Yeah, tell her, Bella. 
Yes, I love the seed packets because you can put them on little, like someone said, uh, which is true on uh, little, um, oh, you know. Well, you know, you could put them on tongue depressors. You know what I mean? Valve. Do you remember if you're still here? Tongue depressors. I'm teasing her because she wanted to give me an IV. Next thing, she'll be checking my throat. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, isn't that pretty? And then look at this. This is another one you could put on tongue depressors, and then you could stick them in to, uh, you know, whatever you might have going on. And then this one, I did little. But again, you could uh, print that out as big as you want, and you could frame that as well. <laughs> yep, I bet you would, Val. Yeah, free medical. That's, yep, Debbie, wait, I'm telling you, I'm so excited for you guys to see my hutch. I really am. I think you're going to like it. You don't give yourself enough credit, Dana. But isn't that pretty? And then this one... I'm, I just went ahead and printed it <coughs> because, well, when you see the um, hutch, <clears throat> you'll understand a little bit more what I want to do for fall, <clears throat> but this is going to be perfect, you know, just up there. And I'll leave this just like it is. I won't cut it down at all. And that's just from Google. I just put in, you know, autumn harvest. <clears throat> and then these two, these are not on uh, the glossy photo paper. These are on regular printer paper. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, com computer, you know what I mean. Just cheap. But I'm going to do a couple DIYs with these. And then this one. And I printed that out. Yeah, and that's it. So, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, I can't get over how many prints and just all kinds that you can. I'm going to put up my uh, rooster, the one I did with the black buffalo check. I'll put that video up tomorrow, the DIY, how I did it. <clears throat> and then I have a couple more that I have to finish filming. And when I'm done filming those, that one lemon one, and um, the plaster Paris I poured, now I just have to get the stuff out and get it filming, painting it. But, um, and it's the ones that, um, you know, the strawberries and the bees that I did with the clay. Well, I did it with uh, Plaster of Paris. I do think I'll like the Plaster of Paris better as far as the bees go. As far as the strawberries, you know, come see, come saw. It's going to be the same. But with the bees, you get more of a really crisp uh, uh, mold. Yeah, that would be pretty for a she shed, huh? I haven't seen you do the um, plates yet, uh, Dana. I gotta go back and look at that. 
because those were pretty. Um, what do you mean navy and blue buffalo check? You mean fabric or paper? When I was printing this stuff out, do you know, guys, I was printing for over two hours. And in my mind, I had all different kinds of things that I was going to be doing. I ended up doing that. And by the time I was done, then I had to go take the dogs out. And then after that, I was downstairs and I thought, well, I better do a load of laundry. And then after I did that, I thought, well, you know what? I might as well start dinner. And there you go. So that was that. Yes, you most certainly can, Angela. She's absolutely right. If you find a print of, in fabric, all you have to do is <clears throat> put it on your scanner, on your printer, you know, and copy it onto a piece of paper. I've done that before. You know what printer I have <clears throat> that I use just for crafts? It's the, um, I got it from HSN. I'm a junkie when it, I don't um, buy anything from HSN really other than crafts anymore. <clears throat> I used to buy <clears throat> Wolfgang Puck when I was making a lot more money at the grocery store um, than I did, but now I only buy and I'm very selective in what I buy even then. But when Crafter's Companion comes on, I do buy stuff from that. <clears throat> and Anna Griffin was on, and this was two years ago. And it was a Kodak printer. It was the Verite, V-E-R-I-T-E. I have never had a printer that can print out so many prints and not have to replace the ink so fast. This ink lasts a long time. It's, I can't believe it. I just cannot get over it. it it's unbelievable. Because usually with my other printers, I was always buying ink and it gets expensive. And this one, I'm telling you, the ink lasts a long time. And I mean, I printed out a lot of pictures that I didn't even show you guys, you know. I mean, and, the, and being a Kodak printer, it is so, you know, vibrant. When I used to um, develop pictures at the store, because that was one of the things I did in the lobby, <clears throat> it was a Kodak machine. And we used to have to put the chemicals in and all that stuff. But, um, I mean, it's, yeah, Kodak. I mean, it's just the colors are very vibrant. And it wasn't expensive, I remember. You know what you could do, uh, Dana, is you could go on to Google and try and put in uh, Navy Buffalo check. And if they have one, then print it out if you have a printer. Uh, evolving blessed what repeat the brand of the printer <clears throat> if that's what you're asking me it is the Kodak Verite V-E-R-I-T-E -E printer
Oh, ribbon? I don't know. Again, you could go online and look for uh, navy and white ribbon. You found towels? Oh, Bella said that Dollar Tree has the blue buffalo check towels, Dana. Yeah, that's another one that is kind of my weakness is Amazon. <clears throat> yeah, I do like Amazon. And next week, she's going to be on again, HSN, um, Sarah Davies with uh, Crafter's Companion. That's where I have this, where I got that, this, here. And um, my dies that I use are from there. They have really nice stuff. Very well made. Well, there you go. Nicole just checked, Dana. And Amazon has the ribbon. If the guy could, if the UPS guy could hide it, the packages under the doormat, they wouldn't fit. <clears throat> and Amazon's pretty good about getting it to you quick, too. There you go. There you go. What are you guys going to do tomorrow? If you haven't looked at Dana's plates that she made, I haven't seen the video where she did the DIY yet, but she showed two of her plates that she made. And then since then, she did her DIY, so I have to go back and look at that. But they turned out so pretty. Oh, just anything that had the lemon valve. I mean, if you ever see it, I can even get over there, you know, if you find it. But thank you. Um, yeah, I never saw the cherry dishes. I never saw the lemon dishes anywhere, ever. And now they have out those turquoise ones. And that's, you know, I don't care about that. But thank you, how sweet of you. But the cherry ones were beautiful, too. Um, Bella, what now? You go to Waco, Texas and go shopping?
Oh, yes. That would be pretty for your chickens. <clears throat> so you want to know what video to do tomorrow? Do you have to work tomorrow, Bella? Or did you take some time off since your family's there? What? You saw the cherry and garden growth? Oh, the cherry is pretty too. I wonder if they will ever have the lemon. Oh, last year. Oh, God, my heart. Woo. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> I was about to jump out of my skin. Well, that's one way of losing some weight. Um, well, tomorrow I want, like I said, <clears throat> since I poured the plaster and I did that, when did I do that? Friday or Wednesday? I think Wednesday. And then I had to let it dry and then I'll... Uh, get it out and um, paint them and I'll film that and then see all this stuff takes time you know what I mean and uh, but I am going to make the frosting tomorrow and do the cupcakes the lemon with the lemon frosting so because I want to get those up so I can get then I can film the lemon decor in my family room and kitchen and uh, dining room. Biddy Boo, <coughs> Susan, <coughs> her channel is Biddy Boo. Oh yeah, she shows you the goats and everything. Oh good, you're off tomorrow. Yeah, Linda, I'm not kidding. If I could jump out and lose a little bit, I would. Yeah, like I said, I have the two white um, plates from Dollar Tree. And then I'll just decorate them. And at least then you get the feel, you know what I mean? So are you guys doing, um, are you guys doing any cra <clears throat> crafting tomorrow or what are you doing? And I have to do grocery shopping. I don't want to. I'm hungry, but I don't want to do the grocery shopping. Dang it. Here she is again. She was crying to get up. Look, Polly, can you see? Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I really don't, <clears throat> you know, I just get in there, get what I got to get and get out. Oh, you have to work. <clears throat> I don't work till Thursday. So I'll do, uh, you know, get some stuff done around here for my YouTube. You will be taping and bedding tomorrow? What's bedding? I washed my sheets today. Are you talking about bed sheets? <laughs> mm. 
what does are you asking me Val what my husband thinks of the crafting and videos he's so used to me doing this I mean <laughs> he never knows when he comes in you know I, I can see him looking around like why for instance okay when was it it was in July last year well, I had put my patriotic stuff up because I did, you know, do my home tours for uh, Fourth of July and patriotic. Well, I had those up in uh, the end of May, I believe it was. Because I know it was quite a ways because, you know, the Fourth of July, obviously, it comes so quick after June. And I remember he looked, and then my son-in-law came in, Daisha's husband, and he looked around, and he goes, Fourth of July already? I go, just go with it, Andrew. I'm filming, filming, filming. So he starts laughing. So then they came back, because they bring the kids over to go in the pool. Um, you know, I have a little pool that they can go into here, and then we have the community pool that they can go to. But anyway, so, okay, he had just looked at the patriotic okay they come over two weeks later and i have all the fall stuff up <laughs> he came in to go to the bathroom and he looked and he goes wait a minute wait a minute didn't you just have patriotic up and i go yes filming andrew filming that's all i ever say so mark's so used to it now it's like oh there she goes again you know what i mean so, and what he does say when I show him something, he goes, how do you think of this stuff? Or when it's uh, the faux food, he'll look at it and I'll say, it's not real. And he just kind of looks at me and shakes his head. Oh, taping drywall and filling it. Like when I, <clears throat> about grocery shopping, especially working at the grocery store, like anything else, once you've worked somewhere, you know, and especially that, it's like, oh, uh, so what I used to do is I used to grocery shop right after work because I did not ever go in on my days off. And I don't with Hobby Lobby either. I will always do what I have to do when I'm there because I'm not going to go back to the place I work at on my days off, you know, I just, mm -mm. and I'm usually always doing something at home and I don't like to have to go out. You know what I mean? I, when I'm home, I want to get things done and I don't want to have to go out to get something because then it just throws me off and then I'm weird, but I just want to keep going when I'm doing something. I don't want to stop to have to go get something. I love it. Val wants to know what mine says. But other husbands are saying, oh, she's at it again. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, and I hate putting groceries away, too. Oh, sure, Angela, that's fine. <coughs> yeah, just as long as he gets fed. <laughs> Well, like I just had my um, 
hutch. What was my hutch? Oh, Easter. And um, then that's down before Easter. And now all my vegetables are up there. So when he, and I can always tell when he walks in, because he's a man, he's very, believe it or not, you know, opposites attract. He's very quiet. And um, it's his expressions that I look at. And sometimes he'll walk in and he'll look. And it's like he'll look around. And I, I mean, I know him so well. It's like, where'd all the other stuff go? And now this is, <laughs> sometimes I just, I have to laugh. What now, Dana? You don't, oh, you, what do you want to take that you say they'll do it wrong? You mean about taping and drywalling? Yeah, you can do that. What's dirt cheap? Is that a store? Gotta go to dirt cheap tomorrow. I'm just thankful that he doesn't, um, cause I have friends where the husbands have a lot to say. <clears throat> about how the house is decorated, you know? That would drive me nuts. That would drive me totally insane because, well, I'm changing it constantly with, you know, my decor, I mean, what I make. Oh, we don't have one? Okay. Um, you didn't do anything yet for um, at home, right, Val? A shop with me there? I haven't been. Do you know I have not been in there yet? Can you believe that? And that store is right behind Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> and I haven't been in there. I'm going to go in during the holidays. That's when I want to see what they have. have not been in there one time yet. We have one an hour away. See, she knows everything. Someone made a boho Boho deer head. Oh, you did, Val? I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, that's when I'm interested in it too, Val, is... <clears throat> um, oh my gosh, you guys. Speaking of that, I know I already told you, but there's more... Christmas and fall coming in and we'll be putting fall up <clears throat> because 4th of July is coming to the forefront now. So fall will be now two aisles behind 4th of July and then after 4th of July Christmas will be coming out.
But anyway, back to that belt. Um, that's when I want to go in there and look, is during uh, October, November, December. I really don't care now, you know. Oh, she's from San Diego. Okay. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm interested in. <clears throat> Oh, I'm telling you, it's crazy how fast time's going. Okay, now who is this again, you guys? I'm sorry. You're talking about the dresser and the deer head. I don't know if I know who she is. Is it is it that Debbie's Design Diary? Debbie's Design? Is that her channel, Debbie's Design, or Debbie's Design Diary? Okay, Debbie's Design Diary. Okay, thank you. I'll have to look. I know who you mean she's the one is is she the one that does um Anne's, annie's annie sloan is that her or am i thinking of someone else oh yeah deer heads all over the house Okay. Okay. You know what I was thinking about doing, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it, so I don't know if I will. But my living room furniture, <clears throat> I like my, um, my one, my couch and my one chair. But the other two chairs, I wanted to think, I was thinking about painting them. That's when I think he'll say something. If he saw, well, actually, I'd have to do it while he was at work because if he actually saw me doing it, he'd probably flip. But um, you know how you've seen people paint with the fabric paint? I just want to do them like a white, or not white, white, but, well, kind of. But, I mean, but if it doesn't work, I would croak. You know what I mean? I just wished I knew how to redo uh, chairs. I would love to know how to reupholster. But the thing is, I'm so afraid that it's going to be stiff and it's going to crack. You know what I mean? Okay, see right there. Okay, Val, I'm done. I'm not going to do it. Right there. Did it take a lot? Nope, not a lot. Okay, that's a negative. Okay, I'm not going to do it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to have them reupholstered. And that's not going to be anytime soon, trust me. So your sister-in-law did it and it failed miserably. So did Jen from Craftomatic. <clears throat> <coughs> and see, that's my fear. And if you if you mess that up and you have no recourse after that, I would be so mad at myself. Oh, bye, Dana. Good night. Have a good day tomorrow. I'll have to go watch that just for the heck of it. But, yeah, see, that's my fear. Is if I did it and it got all screwed up. Well, first of all, I'd have to move in with one of you guys because <laughs> I think then he would say something. Well, first of all, he would say 
you're nuts. You are crazy. What were you thinking? You know, and I don't want to hear that. So uh, I'd have to just leave and bring the dogs and come to your house. So I guess I won't do that. I mean, if it was a little accent chair, you know, that was just like, you know, no big deal. But when there are two chairs that are prominently in your living room, you know, you don't want to do something that's going <clears> to <throat> really screw it up. Oh, they're little. They wouldn't make much no Well, I can't say they won't make much noise, dang it, because you've heard them. Well, forget that one. Um, but they're little. Chihuahua and a Chihuahua Terrier mix. No. <coughs> no, we don't. <clears throat> but I found out what they're, they're, what they're putting in where Joanne's was by my work. <clears throat> and it's not a Trader Joe's or anything. It's Hogue Hospital um, <clears throat> Medical Center. I wish we did. Oh, is this your second live here, Angela? Well, come over more. Oh, I bet went to bed. I wonder how many people fall asleep when I'm doing a live. Oh. <clears throat> so that's the first time you saw me at all was when I did that 24-hour live with uh, Tiffany Solorio. Cool. She's real sweet. Really sweet girl. Lady. I'm going to get yelled at, you know. You do know that, right, you guys? <clears throat> Grandma Glitter. Mina, how are you doing, honey? Yeah, uh, some of them are going to bed now. They're saying good night. Is it in the morning there, <clears throat> Mina? And what are you working on next for your YouTube? You guys, go over and check out Mina if you don't know who she is. You'll love her channel. It's Glitter, Grandma Glitter right here. Yeah, it was that your daughter, Mina? Oh, you're going to take your boat home today, and are you going to do a video on that? Good night, it's just Mommy. She's pretty. Do you have one daughter, and that is that the daughter that lives right by you? Oh, that's cool. That sounds pretty, Angela. Angela, do you have a channel? Good night, just mommy. So how far is, how far, how, or how long will it take you to get home when you go to get your boat? Because you live right off the water, don't you, Mina? That is so cool that she lives next door. Very pretty girl. Okay, I'll have to look at that, Angela. Angela. 
I bet you Gloria fell asleep too. What time is it there, Mina, right now? Four hours by boat? Now, is the water just like lake water, or is it like real wavy, you know, where you hit a lot of waves? Oh, it's 7.45 a.m. there. It's almost 11 here at night for me. Oh, so it can be rough. Oh, it's almost one there. Yeah, you got to go to bed, Angela. Do you get seasick, Mina? 1.47. Oh, my Lord, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning where Debbie is. Oh, good. Not much wind today. 12.46 for Nicole, too. And she's got to get her kids up for school tomorrow. Grandma Glitter's in Norway, Angela. You'll love her channel. What's your next DIY, Nina, Mina? Oh, that's cool. Your um, craft room, too, is going to be nice when you get that done. Did you already take care of the horses this morning? What time do you take care of them? Do, do you, like, get up at the crack of dawn while it's still dark out to feed them and everything? Oh, you do what I do, Gloria. When someone's live, I do what I'm doing and I listen. Your, yeah, your um, hearts that you make out of that is so pretty, out of the driftwood and all. Are you really allergic to hay, Mina? So your husband feeds them. Oh my gosh, how do you deal with it then? How do you go into the stable being allergic to it like that? Oh, okay, it's seven. Lots of medicine. Ugh. Your Easter dinner looked good. <clears throat> and your cake looked really moist, Mina. She's very busy. If she's not doing that, she's building a house. I love that big egg. Oh, I'm doing okay. My stupid throat. I was getting better, and then <clears throat> all of a sudden I started getting this stupid cough back, and my chest feels kind of tight, you know. But I was telling the girls I was cutting burlap at work, and the fibers of that fly everywhere. <clears throat> 
And I'm just wondering if that has a little bit to do with it. And then I've got different DIYs that I'm getting ready to film. Well, I have filmed some of it. Because what I do is I'll film and then if I have to wait for something to dry or whatever, then I'll go back and film the rest of it. So it's in parts a lot of times. So I have to finish filming tomorrow morning so I can get a couple more. Uh, I like to have at least three or four videos that I can have on the side so I can put something up. So Norway's got the flu right now? Yeah, we our flu was really bad this year, and it lasted a long time. <clears throat> and there were re... Um, uh, oh, you know... Um, oh, why can I think? Reoccurrences of it. You know, it came back. <clears throat> hey, Cynthia, how are you, honey? You're up late. What are you doing up still? How you doing, Cynthia? Yeah, it is, um, <coughs> it is, um, uh, really a tough one well good for you Gloria because you made a real pretty one last time <laughs> Ricola yes I know I you know actually I really do I really should get some Gloria I'm not kidding because I hate this cough, especially when I'm at work, and there's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> and I was feeling, I mean... Oh, I know. Going to the dentist with this? Forget it. Cynthia, did you ever watch that movie with um, Wahlberg about the foster kids? I can't remember the name of it again. Night, Linda. Oh, that sounds good. Ginger tea with honey and a bit of cayenne. Well, no. Okay, what happened was... <clears throat> Remember I was hoarse? Okay. Well, that started to clear up. And then I had to go with my... Um, okay, I'll, I'll accept that, Angela. And um, so my granddaughter, we took her to the doctor the other day. She had 105 fever. Thank God she's okay now. Anyway, <clears throat> so they were, you know, having a little bit of cough and kind of nasally. And then my other grandson, his came back. So I don't know if it was that or I don't know when I was cutting the burlap. But all of a sudden, yesterday or last night, I noticed that I felt kind of, um, my chest felt kind of tight. And I started getting this cough again and it was new. I could tell it was different. And I thought, what the heck? So anyway... Instant family. Yes, instant family. Oh my gosh, 105, Cynthia. Unbelievable. She was, Dacia, my daughter said she was shaking so hard and she was going, Mom, pray for me and her left cheek and talk. She was doing that. And I thought, oh my God. Oh, oh, that would, oh, that would break my heart. And I mean, burning up. But it did go away. Not that I know of. Hey, you know what? I just thought of something. When you said asthma, 
I have a, um, <clears throat> what do you call those things that you do that, you know, in your mouth? Well, anyway, when I was sick, but it's old. But I wonder if I, inhaler, inhaler. Um, I wonder if that would help. You think? Yeah, that was scary. Did they put him on antibiotics, Mina? I should use that inhaler. You know what? If it's old, <clears throat> I mean, I'm talking years old. But do you think it might still work? Well, you know what, too? I don't, I'm sure you guys in the state saw this, but there's a breakout of measles, and it started at UCLA. And uh, that can be scary, you know? <clears throat> well, see, and that's the way I am, too, you guys. I hate to say this, and if Val is still on here, she'll probably get mad at me, but... Um, I have medication, you guys, and if I don't use it or if I get an extra, whatever the case, and I still have it, I will use it, and it does still help, you know, and um, and when I tell you some of it's old, I mean some of it's old, and um, so those inhalers, <clears throat> I don't even know how to use it anymore, I get, because um, I used it one time and that's why I still have it but you just press down on it and as you press down on it you inhale it is that right you press down and go like that shake and then quick pump and as the quick pump that's when you take it in you breathe in right Oh, ear infections are awful. <clears throat> I can't remember what the name of it is, Susan. Um, <clears throat> but I think on her thumbnail, it shows her with one of the goats, if that helps, on Dana, on Biddy Boo's channel. Oh, dear God, Val is still here. <laughs> Oh, no, and her face is red. Wait a minute. Oh, good. You're, oh, good. Nope. Nurses are the worst. We keep everything to self-medicate. Oh, good. Whew. Whew. I didn't know if you were still there, and I thought if she hears this. Okay, good. All right. First deep breath in all the way. First deep breath in all the way out on the next inhale pump. Oh, you're an x-ray tech too? That's a good job. Well, wait a minute. I press down on the, on the next one. I don't breathe in, I breathe out. Breathe in all the way. First deep breath in, all the way out. Next inhale pump. So after I put it in the first time, then when I let all the air out, then I put the pump back and then do it again. You can tell how often I used it.
No way, Cynthia. Are you kidding me? How did you know she was a follower of mine? I gotta hear this one. I can't believe it. Deep breath in. And then when I breathe back in, that's when you spray it in. Take a, take a breath. Let it out. Breathe in when you push the button. Oh, okay. Take a breath. Let it out. And then push it. Okay. Oh, okay. You expand your, lung, expand your lungs by taking a fresh... Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> So, Cynthia, I need to hear this. So, okay, what made you know that she was a follower? You were just talking about a DIY? That's why when you get chest x we make you take two breaths. We shoot the x or pick on your second breath. Oh, and is that why when the doctor does the um, stethoscope, when they tell you to breathe and then breathe out and cough when they're listening to see if your lungs sound like they have stuff in them? She was buying mesh. I asked her what she was making, and then we just started talking. She follows several channels, but you are the first one she mentioned. Oh, bless her heart. Well, that was nice. Well, how cool. Well, thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> oh, cool. So she lives where my son just got the house. Oh, cool. That's funny, it made me think, my daughter, <clears throat> my youngest one, she used to do, uh... hi Rosemary, how are you, hon? She used to do uh, Christian um, television, uh, it was like MTV, but it was Christian music, you know, hard, you know, like all the different Christian, you know, bands and all that, and um, so we were at Walmart one day, and this girl stopped her and she goes, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's you. And I looked at her and she looked at me and she goes, you do JTV? And she, they, she said, yeah. She goes, you do Rewind? And she said, yeah. And she goes, oh my gosh. I went, oh my gosh, Daisha, she saw you on TV. <laughs> it was funny. How you doing, Rosemary? What time is it where you are, Rosemary? You're hanging in there, huh? I guess that's all we can do sometimes, isn't it? Is just hang in there. Two AM. Have you been to sleep at all? I got a few more minutes I can still be on here and then I have to let you know who O U T. I don't want to say the word yet because then they'll G E T U P. Oh, you're a night owl? Okay.
you speak backwards? Well, that takes, uh, <laughs> and you're more talented than I am. Oh, or you talk English so they don't understand? Well, I wish I could speak a little Norwegian and then they wouldn't understand me. Oh, it's true. Oh, you didn't see my prints, uh, Cynthia? Oh, I'm not kidding you guys. I mean, yeah, no. They know so many and they know by my tone of voice, you know. I was showing, this is, um, you guys have seen it. You're going to go, oh, no, not again. This is my grandson, London. He's showing that he lost a tooth. This is my little guy. He has autism. But um, <laughs> I made him this little Mickey Mouse tooth fairy pillow. But he, my daughter said, show me your where you lost your tooth. Well, that's what he did. But... Um, I want to show you, if I show you London, I have to show you Everly, his sister. That's my little Everly. She's three. Anyway, so I printed out some pictures. Well, then I was printing out for my hutch. And so these are just some of the prints that I'm going to put on my hutch because it's all different vegetables. And I just went on Google and just put in, you know, what I wanted, like uh, seed packets, vintage seed packets, and vintage um, farmer's market apple signs, and that's what I got there. Flower market, another farmer's market, and you'll understand when you see my hutch what I'm doing with these. But look at this one. I love that carrot one. And this, and I print on photo uh, glossy. I usually uh, print on matte, but I didn't have any matte left, so I this is glossy. And then for fall, I printed out this one. And then I'm going to do a couple um, lemon. Uh, prints, uh, DIYs, I should say, with these. So, anyway, that's that. Oh, night, Angela. Your husband works with autistic? Oh, my gosh. Boy, it takes special people, I'll tell you. Oh, thanks, Rosemary. No way! Your grandma, your grandbabies. Her name's Everly too. Oh, I love that name. Isn't that the truth? Dogs do listen better. You're the one that has the apples, because I was telling the girls earlier. I said, one of my family members on here has their kitchen in apples, and she would love that. It's you. Thanks, Cynthia. Yeah, and I mean, just get your printer and go on Google, I'm telling you. Exactly, Cynthia. They're going to go with the Hobby Lobby stuff, and I have the hutch done. I cannot wait to show you guys. You're going to love it. That's wonderful, uh, Mina. I love you still remember that, Susan. <coughs> I'm going to use it. It's down here somewhere. I gotta find it because it's one of my one of the things I want to do was something I'm gonna show you guys how to put the pictures on. What? Rosemary, wait a minute. 
Are you saying that the Dollar Tree has the lemon plates right now? I don't I don't think they do in my in my area. Oh my lord. Oh no. I'm okay. I'm going to jump out of my skin again. Oh, what city? Well, Rosemary doesn't live by us. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> I'm I'm going back and forth. Oh, if I could only lose weight that way. Oh, it figures. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree does not like California, Southern California. Cassidy and Everly. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Oh, I know. I mean, I'm not kidding. It is. It's just lemon mania around here. So you live in New Hampshire? Dang it. So why don't they have it on their website? Because I've gone on their website. And I don't see any lemon plates that you could order. So they have the lemon plates. So they're the lemon plates from last year, Rosemary. Man, you have a good memory, Susan. Remembering that one, because that's right, Polly did. She remember I <laughs> she took a bite out of the side of the I don't know why she likes to eat paper. You're going to do butterflies. No lemons for you, huh, Mina? Oh, you haven't seen the spring tour? Yeah, go watch that. Oh, you like pineapples. Oh, my gosh. Well, you are you should be in heaven because pineapples are everywhere. Val just did a um, shop with me, and I've seen other... Um, a Dollar Tree things where they have all the, or 99 cent store, maybe it's a 99 cent store. Well, anyway, um, they have pineapple galore and flamingos. I only work, I'm, I'm semi-retired, Mina, and I only work two days a week. I work Thursdays and Saturdays. The rest of the time I'm doing YouTube stuff or take, you know, going over to see one of my kids or whatever. Oh, they do look different from last year, Rosemary. Did you get <clears throat> did you get a job yet, uh, Mina? I know you've been looking. Oh, unicorns everywhere, huh? Well, you will. The right one will come up. Your husband has to be a very patient person to work, especially if he works with uh, autism, people with autism. You're too into YouTube. <laughs> I love it. I don't have time to apply for a job. I got YouTube. Yeah. 
I, I knew he would have to be because, I mean, I just can't imagine. You, you'd have to be patient. Oh, you even bought a pineapple doorbell? Oh, how cute. Oh, perfect, Rosemary. Did you get some of the app? Oh, the, <clears throat> I think the apples, we'll see, I, I didn't close this past Saturday. So I don't know if the faux food will be going on sale. I won't know till Thursday. There's a lot of pineapple stuff out there right now. A lot. I think they even have pineapple, um, well, that's at the 99 cent store, I think. Um, pineapple salt and pepper shakers. Is that right? Your daughter works with uh, <clears throat> children with special needs. How wonderful. <gasps> You know what? Maria wasn't on tonight. She might have been gone somewhere. No, I have not seen her, Cynthia. Not tonight. Oh, good, Rosemary. Oh, how cute. So, obviously, you're going to go and get all the pineapple stuff they have at Dollar Tree. and uh, I don't know if you have a 99 cent store where you are. But I think Target, too, if I remember right. Val, if you're still here, didn't you show pineapple stuff? Well, you're all smart little people over there, aren't you, Mina? Well, why don't you go on Amazon, Rosemary, or just go on the internet and look for apple knobs? And you too, Cynthia, with the pine or uh, evolving blessed for the pineapple knobs. I love it. Look at Nina. We have pineapples. Oh, mostly tinsel items. Okay. Val, are you feeling better since you've been off of the steroids? Now that your body's you know, getting back to in gold. Well, there you go. I love your dining room table, Mina. Oh, I'm so glad you're feeling better. And does it seem like it's helped with the MS? Do, does it feel like it's at bay again, or do you go for a test to see? Yeah, that's true, Cynthia. You could. Some resin and molds. Oh, see that? Val said that Target Dollar Spot just put out some pineapple chair cushions. Oh, good. Well, why would you take the table down? Don't you need it to eat on, Mina? Don't take it down. I love it. I'm telling her what to do with her house. Um, but it looks so pretty. And you have a nice hutch, too. You guys, have all of you been over to um, Grandma Glitter's? If you haven't. All, everyone knows Auntie Cuckoo. Mina, have you been over to Auntie Cuckoo's channel? 
I think other than you, I think most people know who Angie Cuckoo is. A.K.A. Bell. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Yeah, I was very pleased with uh, the way that rabbit turned out. I really am. Oh, yeah, Cynthia, seriously, go to her channel. You really will like it. Well, now look at that, Val. Grandma Glitter knows you, too. Yes, love you. There you go. There you go. You're a household name. Yes, I love the way um, Val decorates, too. And her soft voice. Oh, you found her from um, my channel? Cool. I think everyone knows Auntie Cuckoo. Oh, I'm so glad then you found her on the live. I'm glad. I can't wait for, can you imagine this Christmas now that um, we know her and especially with the ones that she showed, I'll never forget that one, when she was uh, in the snow with her horses, oh my gosh. That was the most beautiful scenery. And I love how you have that little, um, oh, you know, uh, where you walk over, where you have your koi. I can't wait till you get your craft room to put together. Did you guys build your daughter's home? I think you said you did, right? The pond, yes. The bridge, yes. That little thing, remember? Isn't that something? That just is so impressive. I'm going to try to make a ladder, and I think I'm doing something. <laughs> and I'm talking flat pieces of board. <coughs> yeah, it's crazy what they do together. Do you go riding? I can't remember if you said, do you go riding with him, Mina, your husband on his Harley? What kind of Harley does he have? Yeah, you have, but not for a long time. Too much junk in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't, um, but like I said, it, I can tell it's a new, it's not what I was having before. Because my chest is feeling tight, you know, like, well, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, yes, I will. I haven't ridden on the back of Mark's either. He has a soft tail. I mean, he doesn't have a soft tail. His motorcycle's a soft tail. 
but um, I remember we, I told him, I said, okay, I'm going to go riding, but I'm telling you, do not go through a yellow light or when we were in the canyon, because a lot of times he rides in the canyon, because that's what the, where the bikers ride, you know, and uh, the canyon or, um, uh, oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> oh, it's left my mind. Well, anyway, so we were down in the canyon. Well, it's a two, you know, two way, right? That's it. Just one, you know, coming this way and going that way. All right. So I said, don't you dare pass anybody. I said, you're not in a hurry. You don't need to go go and pass someone. Well, he gets real impatient. And I said, I'm telling you, if you do, it'll be the last time I go on here. Well, sure enough, he did. And that was the last time I went on. I said, I won't do it. I told you not to, and I'm not going to get back on there. Oh, yard work um, you have to do, yeah. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to have rain. Did you know that, Val? At first they said, Mon hold on, you guys, just a minute. Um, th first they said uh, <clears throat> uh, Monday and Tuesday, and now it's only Monday that we're having it. You have a motorcycle license? Well, no, I don't. I just would ride on the back. Pretty impressive, Cynthia. Oh, I love wasabi. I love wasabi. I love horseradish. The more it burns, the more I love it with prime rib. Isn't that weird? Yes, that was. Polly. Did you say that too, Mina? Sorry, Val. Yeah, no. Um, but he did. He went around. And I mean, you could see there were no cars coming, but that doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Okay. Goodbye, Mina. Say hi to your husband and tell him thank you. I said thank you for working with people with autism. Have a good day, sweetie. You bought some chaps? Well, and the thing is, you know, when you're on a bike, I mean... You, you don't have any protection other than your helmet and, you know, leather. I mean, <clears throat> and if that bike was to go down, and those bikes are heavy. I mean, I don't know how he gets it. I, honest to God, I don't. I mean, that thing is so heavy. Wow. I remember when I first got on it, he didn't even have a, a sissy bar on the back. And I said, there's no way I'm hanging on to you like this. You know, I could just see me flipping off and he'd be riding away and there I'd be way back in the sunset. So he got one, you know. Oh my God, yes. I, I oh, We were on the freeway. And <coughs> we wanted to ride down Pacific Coast Highway. And that was nice. 
But then he got on the freeway, and it is scary on the freeway. My one uh, friend that comes on here once in a while that I grew up with, she's back in, uh, oh, I always get mixed up where she's at, doggone it. Um, oh, shoot. Where are you, Kathy? Um, I want to say Louisiana, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> anyway, she's in a, uh, bikers for Christ and a lot of bikers and she has a um, you know uh, you know the one where it has the two wheels what do you call them in other words you're not having to keep the bike up it's got uh, I can't remember what you call it but anyway Yeah, I remember on the freeway, though, <coughs> it was really, it was really scary. <clears throat> oh, your husband doesn't ride at all, <clears throat> Cynthia? Oh, hi, Ing. Yeah, I guess it is that evolving blessed. You do, Susan? Oh, I know it is getting late. I got to take the dogs out in a minute. Oh, crud. Dang it. Oh, I just said that and I didn't mean to. Doggone it. Oh, you should see him. Oh, well, it's getting late anyway. I got to get off. But, um, oh, yeah, Mark used to ride all the time. <clears throat> he doesn't as much anymore either. Uh-uh. I haven't seen it. I know. I did, Rosemary. And I said it inadvertently, and as soon as I, I thought, oh no, and I, I could feel them look, and I turned around, and there they were. Oh, you got your license to commute to Orange County? Do you work in Orange County, Cynthia? It is easier on the bike, yeah. But the thing is, Sixteen states in fourteen days? Wow. Yes, they're very smart, Rosemary. Too smart. I love it, Rosemary. Whoops, the magic word. Oh, you work from home now? Well, and the thing is, when you're on that freeway and those bikes come in, especially the uh, the rockets, you know, and how they go so fast, you will never believe what I saw one day thinking of that. <clears throat> Couldn't believe it. We were on the freeway, and we weren't on the bike. We were in a car, <clears throat> and... There were two girls on a bike, well, on the back, and they were on the crotch rockets. They had short shorts on, stilettos, stilettos. 
and you know on those crotch rockets there's no there's nothing for them to lean on i mean so they are leaning against the guy and i thought oh dear god if that bike was ever to go down or that stiletto gets stuck in something or she falls with those short shorts on i mean her legs would there would be no more to her legs hitting that pavement oh my god it it, it gave it gave me goosebumps just watching them and they were going in and out of car i mean they were being idiots on the freeway and i thought oh you idiots oh how cool susan Yeah, because your rear end starts getting numb after a while. And heaven help you if you get a Charlie horse. Oh, yeah, it'd be more than a road rash. Well, that's a neat memory, isn't it, Susan? Well, I guess I should go. <clears throat> I always hate leaving everybody. But I'm that way when I go when I go with um, my friends anywhere, you know. Or I'm over at someone's house or there. It's like, oh, I always hate saying goodbye. I hate that. Oh, Lord. That had to be awful, Cynthia. Well, all the guys, you know, especially the ones that have hogs or Harleys or whatever, because, you know, they're not trying to go, you know, like a crutch rocket. I mean, those things, oh, it just drives me nuts. But, I mean, they're the ones that cause a lot of the, the accidents, you know. Anyway. Well, it was great getting together with all of you girls, as usual. Love every minute of it. And tomorrow, like I said, i got to work on this stuff and then get a couple more things filmed so I have a few videos that I can have. So, you know what I mean? To back me. I like having a few in the can. No, I haven't yet, um, Ing. But I hope everyone is or has a good day tomorrow, and you never know when I'll be popping back on. But thanks for spending this time with me. I loved it. And as always, remember the world's a better place because you're in it, and I do mean that to each and every one of you. Honest to God, I do. Love you all.